Well, top of the morning to you folks, and welcome to the foulest, most stenchiest place in this depths of despair of all of YouTube. I appreciate you being here. And if you're new to these foul parts of YouTube, I'm an online reseller. I've been selling on eBay and Amazon for the past 12 to 13 years, and I love it. And then I love sharing my experience because online reselling has changed my life in countless ways, and I like to encourage people to do the same. When on vacation, I live down in the Southeast. I'm going up to Montana, ultimately to California and back. One of the best perks of reselling is that I can do it wherever I go. Maybe not literally everywhere I go, but along the way, I'm gonna be sourcing at thrift stores and maybe even a garage sale. First stop's gonna be up in Chattanooga. It's this store called McKay's in Tennessee. I had a friend, Steve. He's actually still a friend and I believe his name still is Steve. And Steve tipped me off to this store called McKay's Bookstore. And there's a few in Tennessee, there's a few in North Carolina. But Steve tipped me off that they actually buy stuff as well. And they actually pay a really fair amount. Brought two boxes of stuff kind of to test the water. You get trading value or you can get cash. And the stuff that I'm bringing is stuff that I would normally take to my own garage sale or a flea market. So I'm going to be interested to see if Kay's pays versus what I think I might get in a garage sale or flea market. And if it works out in my favor, Chattanooga is close enough to my hometown where I might start just bringing stuff up. And the strategy would be to trade in stuff that I would normally only get a buck or two or maybe five bucks at a garage sale and thrift store. And if the trade in value at McKay seems to be a little bit higher than that, then I can buy stuff that I can sell on eBay and Amazon. So let's check it out and see what happens. So I was not prepared for this, guys. I watched some other YouTubers who'd been to this store just in preparation to kind of get a feel for this place. But being here in person was just insane. This store is is stacked. I can't even tell you. You guys got to see this place if you're in the Southeast. Go check it out. McKay's. It was overwhelming. Like when I first learned that I was eating bread from a turkey's butt that was stuffed up and jammed and I liked it. A little overwhelming. Found this Ouija game. 23 bucks used. That was scary. And I hope this wasn't a sign of things to come. Then I found more reasonable price game. Six bucks. Anything think fun is always worth looking up, especially on Amazon. I can make about eight bucks at that price. Then there's these games. This actually sells for about what it sells brand new on Amazon. So this place was a little all over the place with their prices. Looks like you just got to find some hidden gems on the shelves. Monopoly of every kind of edition just reminded me of the old days when they had Monopoly, Monopoly edition. Uh, not anymore. And there's so many games rows and rows and stacks and stacks i'm not well versed enough in games to go through this i bet i could spend an entire 40 hour work week in this place and i don't even think i'd get through the whole thing there's just massive massive amounts of stuff definitely got to check these places out and it's all high quality stuff i just picked up random things that i found found this rick and morty game for two bucks found this uh, brand new 11 bucks which is a lot of money you'd find this at a thrift store for maybe five bucks but it sells for 35 new on amazon so i'll double my money uh so that was a good find risk anything obviously risk is worth looking up this is godstorm avalon hill edition i knew it would be worth money and it is 95 bucks used on amazon however the box is really beat up i wouldn't feel comfortable selling this on amazon so i checked it out on ebay and what a difference 25 to 30 bucks for this and they're asking too much at the store, so I put this back, but awesome. And I encourage you really to take some road trips. Don't always fly. Take road trips, take the back roads. And one of my favorite things to do in new cities is discover it through the eyes of thrift stores and garage sales. And really discover this magical, beautiful land that we all live in. And something that's really cool in doing this and thrifting along the way is that it helps pay for the cost of this vacation. It helps mitigate the damage placed upon my wallet when I do these large and long road trips. That's what she said. And here's another think fun gravity maze game. Decent price, seven bucks, a little more than thrift stores, but uh, I'll still make about six, seven dollars on this game. Then I found hiding in beneath uh, the shadows of these caverns of merchandise here. Found a giant model. It's basically the size of a, an eight year old, and it's huge. It was size one, uh, I think scale one, 300. Yeah, just, just huge, one, 350. And it was selling for 32 bucks, which is a lot, but I know this looked vintage, it looked older. And Trumpeteer sells for about 100 bucks in this condition, so I think I can at least double my money on something like this. But don't be fooled, uh, the smaller versions, the smaller scales uh, are a lot less. Paranormal Romance, that's not a book I know. Uh, I, and I, look, that's the customer base. You can see a ghost here if you look close enough shopping the Paranormal Romance section. This is near the register, just insanity, pure insanity, the amount of stuff here. 
So I ended up with an offer of $62.62 for cash or $144.16 for trade-in. A massive difference. So I took, obviously took the trade-in $144. I paid with credit uh, and I was end up with $83.91. I'm going to put the, the overall road trip income. This is, this is going to be rough net profits that I'm going to do in this next series of videos. It's going to be like three or four videos of this road trip. And uh, let's see how much I can make. Uh, to help pay for this epic road trip from uh, Georgia to Montana to Los Angeles and back. Uh, I'm hoping to make a lot of money because this iced coffee is going to be really expensive along the way. So I did decent at this first store and I still have $84 of credit. And again, I'm paying with stuff that I would sell normally at a flea market or garage sale. So we're headed off to Missouri now. This is the second stop from the Savvy, Savvy Seconds. Really small town, Boonville, Missouri. I was actually shocked because this store was actually really nice. So I highly recommend if you're in the area or you're traveling through, check this store out. Great prices, great merchandise, really clean. I didn't spend a lot of time in here. Um, I just kind of half houred it and uh, it was hot. It was a hot day and I just wanted to get also on the road and continue my trip. However, I found these great pants, these cool, and they sell for about 50 bucks. And I think I got them for four bucks at this thrift store. So really awesome find. Toys, you know, I love finding toys, board games, hallelujah. This is what makes me feel at home on the road. A stack of games here, but brand new Pictionary. And this is a vintage edition, uh, $49 brand new on Amazon. And I think they were only asking five bucks. And then here it is, Quelf, everybody's favorite find. I've sold Quelf more than any other board game in history. It's only three bucks. And I'm gonna make about five, six, seven dollars on, on this game. And I find a ton of Quelfs, like no lie. Sneezing Baby Panda, I can't believe they made a movie of this. If you haven't seen, look it up on YouTube. Look up Sneezing Baby Panda. It, uh, super cute and it will make your underwear fly off. Scattergories Junior, uh, great game, hot, real sales for really good price on Amazon, which you'll see here, three bucks for it. But I know from experience, this kind of cardboard, taking that tape off is really gonna rip this box up and it's already not in the best condition, but you can see it sells for 38 bucks on Amazon. I left it behind just because of the condition, but uh, definitely look out for Scattergories Junior. It has some value. Then we see uh, another HP Ink. Don't be scared of these HP Ink cartridges when they're not in the box. I got this for a buck. And I'm going to be selling that, not for a lot of profit, but maybe 14, 15 bucks. And I find this vintage Corning uh, thermos looking thing. And it looks pretty. And I know some people are really into this stuff. Uh, and it sells for about 25 to $30. So I found this. And it made that noise. So I left this behind because I didn't see anything. And it sounded like it might be broken. I left that behind. But then I searched for linens. Don't don't uh, don't sleep on the linens, as Rally Roots says. Uh, I found some really cool thing in here. This this cool artwork by I think is what's his name here, uh, John Van Zyle, and he makes a lot of. I didn't I wasn't familiar with him, but when I looked him up on eBay, his stuff sells pretty well. He has a lot of wolf based art. Uh, so he's somebody that I'm adding into the Rolodex of stuff to look out for. So we're at about $137 into this trip. We're, we're at Missouri and we are headed up to Iowa next. So stay tuned next week. Let's see what we can make up in the cornfield state. Thanks for watching.